Folks, you know that feeling when you spend hours explaining what you need to a coding tool and it still doesn't get it right? Or when you finish building something and realize you have zero documentation? I recently discovered Coder and it might be the first AI coding platform that actually thinks like a developer instead of just generating code. I am Daniel and in this video I'll show you how this tool works across its three core modes and why it's different from other tools. We'll build a complete pub management system from scratch to see what this thing can really do. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. Let's get into it. Alright friends, let's talk about what makes Coder different. It's an agentic coding platform built for real software development. Unlike typical AI tools that just generate snippets, it understands your system architecture, maintains live documentation, and autonomously executes complex tasks. It operates in three connected modes. Conversational pair programming lets you chat naturally with AI that fully understands your project. Repo Wiki automatically creates and updates documentation inside your repository. Quest mode allows you to assign multi-step tasks that the AI plans, codes, and delivers independently. What makes Coder unique is its system-level understanding. Instead of just producing code, it acts as an engineering partner that comprehends how everything fits together. Alright folks, let's dive into the actual build process. First, we'll download and install Coder, then switch to quest mode where things get interesting. I'll click new task and describe what we need to build using this prompt right here. And as you can see, I'm describing business requirements in plain English without any detailed technical specs or architecture diagrams. There's just natural language describing what the system should do and Coder figures out the rest. Ok guys, let's submit it for generation and see what happens. The smart assistant creates the task and activates the quest mode. It's already started working on our project design, analyzing the requirements and planning the architecture. After completing the full design phase with detailed descriptions of everything in our project, we move to the action flow where the real magic happens. Look at this folks, the intelligent assistant breaks down the entire task into smaller to-dos and starts generating files systematically. It created the project structure itself, generated the core files, and is now working with database tables, creating models and adding fields. We can see our project appearing in the repository, where we placed it. Our job is simply to wait for the results while the software does the heavy lifting. After file generation, the system provides an implementation summary with detailed descriptions of everything developed. It also updates the to-do list and reviews what still needs to be done, keeping everything organized. After creating the project and its implementation, it provides a complete summary. Once that's done, the tool moves to the next task, generating unit tests, which is something most developers put off until later. And that's what is really cool about this tool, guys. It acts like a full-stack developer or a team, handling all aspects of development deployment and everything related to project implementation. After it's done with the action flow and providing the summary, the smart assistant moves to the task report. Here it offers an overview of what was implemented in this project. You can review all changes from the beginning of generation to the very end with complete traceability of every decision made. We can save the project and publish the branch. When pushing your changes to Git, you can use this feature to let the AI automatically generate a commit message for you. But let's move to the most interesting part – Repo Wiki. Guys, one of the biggest problems in development is maintaining up-to-date documentation, because usually docs go stale the moment code changes. Coder solves this problem with Repo Wiki, a tool that automatically generates and updates documentation directly from code, keeping everything synchronized. I clicked the button to generate this documentation and Coder started the generation process immediately. As soon as we have a new commit with code changes, we can regenerate Repo Wiki and it updates to reflect the current state. This pain point for every developer, documenting all actions and keeping documentation current is solved with Coder in a way that actually works. Let's wait for the generation results to see what it produces. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring and in return please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. And here it is. The intelligent assistant created the documentation for our project that includes an overview, complete diagrams 
and examples. We can see a complete set of 42 files with graphs and process diagrams showing what's happening in our API. All created automatically from the codebase. And guys, every developer knows how it feels to create the project itself, then spend hours developing its documentation separately. This approach truly unloads routine tasks from developers and completes in minutes what would take us hours of manual work. Considering it fully developed our API project and created tests with detailed module breakdowns, this is a massive time saver. There are integration tests, where you can see what it did for authorization, menu and setup. Also unit tests for inventory, menu and all the other core services, covering all the critical functionality. This is a complete platform that unloads developers' hands from routine and uninteresting tasks. These objectives get handled automatically in quest mode, so you can focus on more creative work that actually requires human insight. Now, friends, let's talk about what this means for different types of developers. For professional developers building real applications, Codder handles the grunt work while you focus on architecture and innovation. Fast scaling teams get serious productivity gains without sacrificing code quality. Enterprise teams managing large code bases finally get a tool that understands context at scale, not just individual files. Guys, even if you're doing rapid prototyping, Coder turns ideas into working demos faster than any tool I've tested. It's perfect for validating concepts quickly without getting bogged down in details. The key difference versus competitors like Cursor or Windsurf is depth of understanding. Those tools are great for code completion, but they don't truly really grasp your project structure. Coder goes deeper, understanding your architecture, maintaining documentation, and executing complex tasks autonomously. Folks, the repo wiki alone saves hours every week. Documentation updates automatically with code changes, so there is no disconnect between what the docs say and what the code actually does. Everything stays synchronized, because it's generated from the same source. Alright guys, let's wrap this up. Coder is one of those rare tools that changes how you approach development work, not just makes it slightly faster. For anyone building real software, whether solo or in teams, this platform delivers something genuinely different from the usual AI coding assistance. It's not just faster code generation or better autocomplete features, it's system-level thinking that understands your project deeply and delivers working features instead of code snippets. Friends, the combination of conversational programming, automated documentation, and autonomous task execution creates a workflow that actually feels like working with a smart colleague. Have you struggled with keeping documentation updated or delegating complex tasks to AI? Share your experiences in the comments below. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and till next time.